In the last screencast, I showed you how to create a, a default generic UV texture from your mesh. And I created this mess right here, which is pretty easy to interpret. We've got one side and the other of our body. And then we've also got the top of the shoulders here and probably legs and arms. It's a little bit difficult to make out, but we could make it work. We'd like to fine tune this some so that it works better. To do that, let's switch back to the 3D view. And I'm going to look at my, my shape from the side. I'm going to show you a neat trick. From the side, I'm going to switch into wireframe view for this, which is going to generally work better across the board when we're, when we're working with UV meshes. And now I'm going to use border select, B. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all of the edges along the middle seam of my body. So let me carefully line up here. You can see I've drawn this border right down the middle there. So I've selected what will, be, if I look at this from the front, will look like the outline of my body. All those edges along, along there. And if you look carefully, you'll see there's some sloppiness there in the hands and down at the ends of the feet. We're not going to worry about that right now. What we're going to do instead is in the spacebar menu, we can go in and under the edit menu, under edges, we can say mark seam. You'll note that this is actually also control E. From here on out, I'll be getting to this by clicking control E. When I mark these as a seam, what happens is they become highlighted in orange. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything again, and I'm going to go in and type U, and unwrap my mesh again. And now if we go and look at our UV image editor, we'll see that now I've got a much cleaner unwrapping of my mesh. You may recall that I pointed out those scrappily little bits in the hands that I hadn't carefully trimmed out. I will need to go back in and clean, clean up those seams. But in general, I've got a very nice shape here. I basically peeled out my mesh and laid it flat like a rug onto the onto this texture. We'll pick up here in the next screencast.